start off, we'll be creating a new project. Here we'll be selecting our printer, material, and preferred layer thickness. This is our build envelope. This is where we will lay out all our parts. Scrolling the mouse wheel allows us to zoom while right clicking and dragging rotates. In the upper left corner we have our options tab. This is where we can create new projects or change preferences. To load a model, we press the plus icon and load desired model. Now, it doesn't really fit on the platform, so to just play around with this part, we can resize it with this tool. We can resize it to a certain percentage, so in this case we'll do 30%. Now it fits. Using the compass in the upper left corner, we can translate the part across the platform. With this option, we can rotate the part. We can snap by 90 degrees or put specific angles. Now, it's not perfectly flat, so it's not very buildable. If we enable select base, we can select which surface we want as our bottom plane. Once we disable it, the upper right corner option does the same thing. Now it's buildable. But if we want more, we can make copies. Using the bottom right option and dragging allows us to create additional copies. Now we have two perfectly flat parts. Now clicking on one and using the bottom left icon allows you to slice the model. It'll still keep the model flat again and we can make another copy using the bottom right icon. In the upper right corner, we have the print setup. This is the same window that we saw at the beginning and this allows us to change the printer, material, and layer thickness on the fly. Below that is the layer slicer. This will take the part and create a layer by layer preview of the printing process. Again, it's the little eyeball icon. Next, we're ready to print. You see we're getting an error stating we don't have supports. Now if we hit the fix button, it will add supports. Typically flat bottom parts are fine to print, but some parts may not have one. Now they're a little close together, so using the auto placement tool, we can space them out a bit. In this case, we set spacing at 2.5 millimeters. We can uh, increase this to whatever we want. Now time to print. Here we can change the job name to whatever we want. In this case, we'll call it job 4. Our printer is selected, so we can just send the job straight to the printer. It will begin slicing the 3D object layer by layer. This may take time depending on the size of the part. After that, it will begin the process of uploading. This may take time, depending on the speed of the network. The upload is complete and we can get printing.